So today's lesson is on how to do a sit stay. This is Victor, he's a two-year-old border collie, and he is going to demonstrate for us. I'm going to turn to the side. The first thing you're gonna to have to teach your dog is a sit, which we covered in another lesson with the food up over the head. This time we're not using any food, and we're going to turn sideways so you can see what we're doing. Victor, here, line up, come right up. Okay, so with the dog sitting next to you, you're going to tell them to stay and step directly in front of them. Stay. So you're going to hold the leash over the dog's head with it looped over your thumb, just like that. And if he gets up, you'll be able to pull it taut right there and put him back where you set him in the first place. But you're not going to keep it tight. It's going to be loose unless he makes a mistake and you can push him back. But he's not doing anything, so I'm going to just hold it here and then step back. This starts very, very slowly, and you build your time in front of the dog slowly. You don't want the dog to make too many mistakes. He's just not going to understand what we're doing. Stay. Step in front. Hold the leash up. It's just between my thumb and my hand. And step back. Okay, good boy. That's right. Now, you want to be sure that he understands okay, so that means the exercise is over. The next step from that, stay, is to step directly in front, have your hand up, and step back. Good stay. Good stay. That's right. Okay, good boy. Now, you want to be able to step back further and further. I always work on a six-foot leash and you're going to use the leash until then. After you've gotten to the end of that six feet, and you can lay it on the ground and step back from that. So that's the progression of the stay. Anytime he moves, you want him to stay exactly where you left him. He'll step back, put him back, sit, and start again. So that's all for today.